hello viewers uh, in this video i am going to discuss with you some interesting things in the matlab which you should know i am going to start with the uh, those things in, uh, there are three things which i am going to discuss the first thing is that how you can uh, construct a secure code in the matlab since i have the m file in this when you click on this m file you can see that uh, its output is z x y is the input and it will give you when you substitute x y it will give you the z as the output so i will close i can smartly call this uh, function from my command window just put one or two you can see the answer is three if i again write this function so if i write two comma three it will give you the another output so this way I construct uh, the uh, I can get the output of this M file and I'll just clear all, all such things now if you wish to construct a dot p file or you can the secure file or can you say that encrypt encryption of this file you can have to uh, you can use this command p code and you can write sum of two uh, number dot m when you put enter you can see that in this folder their new file is some with dot p extension is there now this file will work same as the these two functions and if you wish to send this file to someone uh, they they wouldn't able to uh, see your code but they can use this function file in order to get the output like if i in this folder i have uh, in this uh, desktop what i have i have this two files and if I lost this file so I couldn't have any method that I can revert I can get my m file from this dot p file so if you get this type of this so kindly send me the mail I want I wish to know that whether there is decryption command is available in the MATLAB or not uh, so with the dot p file I have left with only dot p file you can see in the folder only dot p file but I can use this file with the same way the same way as the m file if i wish to add i can put the enter they can add it so i can use this dot p file but it is protected now you can send this to anyone so that they can use your function so this is either uh, first uh, thing you should know the, the second thing you should know that sometimes you are dealing with a bigger code and uh, you uh, you have to wait for one hour two hour three hour according to your code in the MATLAB so I I suggest you you can put a sound or a beep uh, in in your in the end of your code so that once you get the output they will give you some message so there is a built-in uh, mat file is also there it, like if you load this gong mat file there is other command this is here if you go and search in search in the MATLAB you can see that and if you use this sound and put enter this type of sound of a uh, big bell you can uh, hear this and even you can use the b command and second if you don't wish to use this built-in uh, command in this you can use a interesting one well, interesting uh, command in the matlab what uh, what is that this is actually a audio recorder command like you can use the you can record your audio you can uh, put it you can call the functions in the end of your code so that you make them interesting like in the audio recorder what you have to do you have to uh, write audio recorder you can write the frequency first and your uh, bits is there and your channel number is there you can use and put it enter if you use the record and r you know, now i am going to record this so once i put the enter i wish to uh, speak and that will be automatically recorded in the MATLAB and uh, in, in order to uh, stop this you have to write stop R or then if you wish to hear your voice or your recording so if you can play the this R, R audio recorder so like I am going to start the recording so your output is there please check your output is there please check so I stop this so this sentence which i have already done the output is there please stop this is already been recorded in this if i use the simply play r and, and put the enter you can hear so your this output is there, yes check. 
your output is there huh? please check yes so this is actually your output so which is already been uh, saved with this and this is the another channel which I wish I have used so this is uh, interesting thing which you can do with your code and you can put uh, you can just record and just play whenever you want or by the end or wherever you wish to this you can even use one more command this is pause command is there once you use the pause command your code is uh, stopped somewhere where you wish to want and if you wish to like if I put this pause, it, it will spawn you can see here in the below it's paused press any key this command window is work only when the execution will work if I put any key when I press enter or press any key then it will execute so this is interesting uh, another interesting things and the last but not the least the interesting thing is that there is a shutdown command is there in the system shutdown you can see that there is a list I have shown you that this is a command if you write system shutdown dot s sorry slash s or dash s whatever you wish to use after the code your system will automatically shut down and once your code will over because sometimes your system will run even two or three days so uh, once your co code is executed fully and it will stop so s stand for shutdown r stand for restart you can even shut down or restart according to your uh, need and l is for the log off you can use log off and this txx command is that you can for access access means that is a number of seconds to wait till shutdown restart or log off you can use anything here so what about h h you can use because h is called hibernate so hibernate you can use anytime because if you not if you are forgot to save any command you can use this h command your results is there but your system will be shut down so similarly you can use i in the i there it gives you a dialog box to fill in which the function you want to use so it the function is there you can use it yourself so this is a manually handling a is that sometimes you have already used the shutdown command for after some 30 seconds or 40 seconds you can use a command and about the previous shutdown command so there is uh, several shutdown commands are available in the matlab so you can smartly use this in your code so that in order to uh, avoid unnecessarily heating of your system so this is only work well when you are dealing with the big data so this is all about uh, this interesting uh, things which you should know so there are other things also this in the next video i will tell you the another things please subscribe for my upcoming videos and you can send your queries and suggestions to my email scientificrana at the rate gmail.com so thank you very much have a nice day